So, the Sugar Fright event in Rainbow Six Siege is live, and it is absolutely silly. I mean, just ab- oh god, the frost was taken. Uh, let's- let's go, Cat. As you can see, you can pick between a few different weapons, uh, the R4, the AK-12, and the C7E. I actually think we are going to pick the R4, because I seldom use it. And our team will be Ella, Frost, Pulse, Goyo, and Castle, looking like something out of Sesame Street. And I think that is the reason they decided to put this, uh, put this uh, map on... Uh, Back in Rainbow Six Free, uh, Raven Shield, there was a map called Street, and this is that map. It is literally, it's not literally the same map, but uh, the design is awfully similar. It's basically, basically for all intents and purposes, it's the same map. Uh, it's it's just that simple. It's it's the same map. They just made it with a lot more candy, basically. So, we're gonna wait for the last one to load in, and uh, you are going to notice a few different things about this game mode. One of them is Frost with a big lollipop. Do you feel funny deep inside? Is it just me? What was in that candy? That is a fair question indeed. Nor what isn't real, traders. Nab the sweets. Okay, so we need to nab the sweets. And as you can see, the map is essentially a lot of candy, but it's also a lot of stuff. And like I said, this is Streets from Raven Shield, and it took me a while to realize this. And I basically realized it the moment I realized that I actually found my way on it. Because uh, I, was, I was genuinely curious as to why I was... I was didn't have any problem finding my way on it. And then I then I realized that I'd played it before. And here's another thing. Uh, when Trick you get killed, you essentially me. drop a uh, treat. And the other side needs to pick it up, essentially. That's, that is just it. But there's also a respawn mechanic. So you do respawn. And it does appear like the... Um, so essentially, this is Siege merged with Call of Duty. And to be honest, as a change, it's not bad. I mean, it's a... It's a really nice change of pace. Sweet. Ah, crap. I do realize why they felt they basically had to put Sesame Street on it. But the entire thing is that since the map is essentially just streets. More candy. Tripsters in the lead. Ah, crap. Uh, I think they are basically standing in the different buildings and are ambushing us from different directions now. So uh, that is also one of the in interesting things about this map. And I wonder if they notice. Um... Oh, this is the street level, so we'll check if on the Raven Shield version there was actually a basement that you could use to flank around. But it doesn't look like they've actually kept it for this version. Which is kinda sad. It was a nice way to uh, flank the enemy. So one of the things you do need to take take into account here is the fact that this map is tricky in terms that you need to master both long range and short range fire so the R4 is not necessarily the best weapon for the simple reason that it's a very short range weapon so uh, the people who picked the AK-12 are probably 
the people that... Well, fuck. This is not going well for us. <laughs> there, 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 there was some time since I touched Siege. Uh, and to be honest, it's kind of kind of interesting that you can't actually change your loadout. It would have been nice to, you know, have an ability to change your weapon. But that is also very interesting. You are... You are essentially locked into whatever gun Sweet in the back. you're you are essentially it. locked into whatever gun you picked and in Fixers this past the midpoint get their treats it also looks like grenades might actually be regenerating which is very interesting, if true. That was a Raven Shield move. That was a breach, bang, and clear. Whoa, fuck. That grenade is going to be very dangerous for us. Ah, fuck it. I was hoping we would be able to evade that. But no. He dropped down. And then IQ dropped down. And. So we are trailing pretty badly. I do wonder if they do have some kind of mechanic that will prevent. Tricksters are ahead! Kill them! Cover them in sugar! What? Uh, I do wonder if they have some sort of mechanic that will pre prevent spawn sheep spawn uh, killing. Uh, considering I just got hit severely by a bunch of grenades, I'm not actually sure. But it could also be that if... We got him. Tricksters don't have much cake left to collect. That was annoying. But and the most annoying thing is that the moment he took, uh, they took their sights off it. Oh come on, that that should definitely have been a kill for me, especially considering how Capitao is basically twisting his body in an angle where he literally can't shoot. They've almost won. Okay, so apparently they can enter our spawn, it seems. We shall see, we shall see how terrible it, it, it is going to be. Oh, come on! Seriously, Ubisoft? Are you really going to al allow a literal, literal spawn kill here? Because that is just shit. I mean... Reloaded. We got him. I mean, it's... If you can't beat him, eat him. Trickers win. Yeah, but it, it's still a bit of a sour taste due to the fact that... Uh, Due to the fact that um, it's of, I mean, the entire spawn spawn kill thing, where they can literally just enter our spawn. That's just ah, never mind. Let's just find another game. But like I said, it's really interesting to see the return of Street. 
because Street was not really the best map, but it was obviously, a, for me, a very nostalgic map. So, it's nice, it's nice to see it return. I mean, that's all, oh, we are definitely gonna pick Fermite. We have learned our lesson, we're gonna pick the AK-12. And, uh, <laughs> let's bake a cake. There was this, uh, little thing earlier, uh, or earlier, this was like, official fan art since, uh, I think it was 2016. Where basically they had Capitao, uh, it's not Capitao, uh, what, I'm, what I'm talking about. They had Fermite bake a cake. And they sh essentially said that, hey, look at this. Uh, Fermite is baking a cake, because baking a cake is essentially as the same as chemistry. S and uh, Fermite is obviously very good at chemistry, so. Uh, playing Fermite in this game mode just makes all the kind of sense and like I said I just adore the fact that they essentially go with the Sesame Street feel on a map based on street and it makes sense from more than one perspective I mean it saves them time in actually developing the map itself but it also creates this lovely, lovely pun. So, we, we shall see how this turns out. Looks like someone has a bit of a loading problem. But hopefully that can be settled soon enough. Oh, come on. How how long can it take? I'm going to hazard a guess that he got disconnected. I mean, this is this is just ridiculous at this point. There is uh, essentially no way that loading can take this fucking long. I mean, not unless he's sitting on the worst processor in the entire world. And has, yeah, he, uh, he essentially had to leave. So we're going to be fighting this uh, from a disadvantage. Something isn't quite right. Have you ever woken from a dream to a nightmare? All right, so we will be the taking on the role as the down, nightmare Mr. this time. Welcome to Sesame Street, based on Street from Rainbow Six Free Raven Shield. Okay, so we got torn to shreds. To shreds, they say. Treaters sweets, treaters points. Ah, crap. I mean, that that was not really a maneuver I should have pulled, but... I mean, I should have just stayed still and fired from that direction. Interestingly enough, I feel like the... Why did some of them have different scopes? I mean... I, d I didn't... I didn't see if there were... Get that back, tricksters. I didn't actually see if there was an... Ability to change your loadout, but I, I haven't tried it. So th there is a high possibility that you can actually change your loadout, and I just didn't do it. Uh, so that that is going to be very interesting indeed. Uh, I'm gonna have to check that in a future game because, as you can see, lots of, lots of them are using different loadouts, and I'm by no means using the loadout I feel is the most. Suitable for me at the moment. Uh, 
For example, we got people here with uh, the, especially the scopes, I would say, are the main concern here. But also the angled grip, because I would really Watch like sweets. to, the lead. I would really ha like to have the angled grip rather than uh, the standard one we have now. Because most of my... Ours is ours. Let's see if we can... If there's someone here and if we can flank them. I'm not really using many of... Sorry, we pulled ahead. Crap. Uh, yeah, they can definitely change because that guy... No, he didn't have a suppressor on. That's interesting. I was fairly convinced he had a suppressor on. But it turns out he didn't. So... And like, like I said, it would be interesting to re see if they... Grenades are actually regenerating here because uh, if they are, that is going to be a very interesting. I wonder if ammunition regenerates as well. Not because I think it does, because that would be insane. Looks like things have calmed down a little bit, but I also. Tango down. Let's keep it moving. I mean, we can essentially outflank them now, so that is what I want to do. That's my cake. I'm just gonna stand here and see if. There is any possibility of uh, spawn camping. I mean, so far it, does, it seems like there might be a possibility for us to do that. And if so, that's going to be really unfair. And fun. Let's reloc- grab that and relocate. Got you. Oh, that is so unfair. That is so fucking unfair. <laughs> that is so fucking unfair. I could just stand there and spawn kill a lot of them. And that is and we basically caught up with the enemy during that time. So fucking unfair that I was allowed to do that. They're probably gonna hate me for it, too. Because a lot of... Looks like kills and treats are essentially kept very differently here. Grenade! Let's go. Let's see if we can do that again. Okay, that is interesting. So, if I fire on someone that already has the spawn invulnerability thing, it appears that I can't actually sh fire at them again. So, sta obviously, st peeking from that, fr peeking from your base window is a. It's a common tactic, and it, it used to be back then as well. So we're actually ahead now with 22, 23 treats. So yeah, we. I'm definitely, for the next game, I'm definitely going to check. <laughs> now they are spawn camping you us. It. You may have tricks, but we have traps. So we need to double check so there's not 
any spawn campers here. I do like the fact that they take a Halloween event and then sleep. essentially make it about the candy and not the horror. You, you gotta love that at some point. I mean, it's, it's so easy to just make the event horror based. And they didn't. Rather, they... Ah, fuck, I flashed myself. That is not a smart thing to do. It's also a very interesting method of warm-up. I mean, this game mode. I mean, this is... I think this is one of the first game modes in Siege history that actually had a respawn. I could be mistaken about that. We just need one more treat. Come on, one more treat. Dr. Strange will do it. Come on, you can do this. My man, Dr. Strange. Grab the sweets. Ah, crap. Come on, we can we can grab the sweets. I need, just need to grab it. Ah, I thought I thought the limit for the sweets were thirty, but it looks like it might be actually higher than that. Either that, or it just goes to the time limit. Uh, because I wouldn't have done, pulled that stunt if. If uh, I was uh, not thinking it would benefit us more than me just getting killed. He might be on the... Nope. Okay, so 60 seconds. We can do this. Yeah, he was essentially on the other, uh, other end of the map. So it's going to be O and one of their kind of disconnected. Uh, and reconnected, it seems. As much as I like this game mode so far, I do hope that a respawning game mode does not become a staple of Rainbow Six Siege, because I don't want that. It's fun for, you know... Ah, crap. 15 seconds left. Uh, we, we, oh, it's, it might actually end in a draw. I wonder what happens if it ends in a draw. That, nah, it, it doesn't, it isn't a draw. We got this. We got it. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. So essentially, it's the same graphic with Ella just raining in the treats here. So, we're going to find another match and play it. Uh, for the simple reason that it's going to be... I want to see if I can actually change uh, my uh, outfit. So, we had one with the R4, one with the AK. So, we're going to do, do the C7 this time around then, okay? Uh, we're going to do Fermite again. And yes, we can actually change. So, scope. Uh, we're going to do a compensator. We're going to do an angled grip. And the attachment skin. And let's bring my manufacturer with along for the ride. And yeah, that is it. So, we now have a weapon that is far more suited to our needs and I just realized I hadn't actually there we go
We are exploring the candy caverns of my mind. Don't be scared. Try to sweep. Let's roll. Let's see if we can end this with uh, three, two wins. So ten minutes. Let's go. So we are the tricksters, the tricksters brigade. And as you can see, a little bit less accurate. Sorry, tricksters. First candy's ours. Got him. So they asked if this game mode is fun, and already me and IQ is heading for essentially the lord of all spawn kills. <laughs> and I have increased reactions. Come on! I, I I get it that he was going to be invulnerable, uh, do, but at that point he ceased to be, and he was really he was really just begging to be shot. Either way, let's play this a little bit more straight because I should have just shot him in the head first thing. So let's grab a bit of a surveillance position here, where we might be able to do some damage. Uh, one of the interesting th thing about this map is obviously that it's mirrored. I don't know if he's actually in there. I don't. I, he might have been, but. Uh, Then again, the kills, even at range, doesn't really matter because you still need to pick up pick up uh, the treats, and it's the treats that give the points, not the kills. And so that is actually something that uh, you need to keep in mind when you play this this game mode. That uh, getting a kill at range. Unless you actually have someone that can pick it up, uh, it doesn't matter. And that is why the uh, spawn camping mechanic is essentially so goddamn powerful. Because you can shoot people when they're unaware, and then you can... First you shoot them when they're unaware, and then it doesn't matter, because... Because you still need to pick up the treats. That that's that's the gist of it. Tricksters lost the lead. Looks like we got shot from behind because I don't think that was or was it? Yeah, uh, we got shot from behind. Frost is dead. Spoiled yeah, by man. your tricks. One cake closer to victory. Grab all the cakes. The cake is not a lie. More sweets! Tricksters lost the lead. We'll get that back, tricksters. Crap. Well, That's it worked. It worked well enough. Five 
five minutes. Well, I didn't clear that. Readers in quick. the midway. I didn't Pull over, clear sister. that uh, quickly enough. So, yeah. Sorry, tricksters. We've pulled ahead. Well, that didn't work. Finders, stealers. Hmm. Like I said, I really do appreciate the that the, the dynamic here that essentially goes for the trick and treat part of Halloween, and not. The uh, horror theme because I mean they done the horror f theme previously and yeah it was it was good but uh, still it's it's such a welcome change of pace. Three minutes left. However, we are still not really in the zone in terms of actual treats. One down. Okay, bye. Essentially, any means that should be in a kill for me because not only was Don't trick yourselves. Traders not only the were there a flash, but there should all there was also uh, the fire was dead on. So let's just rush towards taking an advantageous position close to the enemy base. Fairly certain there's someone behind us. Two minutes left to win our sweets. All of the enemy are still alive. Tricksters can't catch us now. We're all treats. Treaters are way ahead. We missed that oppor opportunity. God damn it. Yeah, we definitely missed that opportunity. And we are... Crap. Sweet points. Yeah, we lost this. Tricksters lost. Well, it was fun while it lasted. And the entire the game mode is actually worth your time. So if you feel like it, you should definitely check it out. I mean, it was relaxing in a way, like playing Siege, but with deaths mattering less. And I gotta say that that's not really a bad thing, not for a limited time event. So do check this out if if it looks good to you. But also be aware that this is kind of different towards a lot of the other stuff. So take care, people. <laughs>